You see, the charge is not very clear. That's why we are, in fact, uh, will be having a real look at the charge and put up the necessary uh, preliminary objections uh, just before the hearing. It's not a good development uh, for the country because cracking down like this on um, bloggers will bring about uh, only negative publicity for the country. And I only hope this is not the beginning of uh, many more prosecutions. It appears to be. It appears to be a warning to all bloggers, no doubt about that. As I said, you know, I only hope this is not the beginning of uh, other bloggers being dragged to court. And let this be a test case, uh, you know, how far the government can go to, uh, you know, um, uh, charge bloggers for an offence under the Sedition Act. In fact, it should be whoever is um, allegedly maligned by these statements, it's for them to take up a civil uh, action. As simple as that. In this case, I think there is some reference to uh, the Deputy Prime Minister and his wife. So they, they should take up a civil case. That's the remedy, if at all. And uh, Raja Petra can be given the opportunity to defend himself. Not charge someone in court and, uh, you know, bring about uh, penal consequences upon him. Uh, not, not a healthy, not a healthy development. Uh, I would rather the government had um, engaged uh, Raja Petra and uh, answer because it's whatever he wrote. It was uh, it was uh, the government has enough machinery mechanism to respond uh, uh, to Raja Petra's accusations or to claims or to innuendos, whatever it was. But I think uh, by charging him for sedition, uh, that's not going to help uh, matters. A lot, uh, many bloggers will <coughs> will look at this as a warning. Um, uh, but personally, I myself, uh, I think this is just uh, a test case, another test case. Uh, I hope there will be something good uh, coming out of this. Uh, for for one, I hope uh, the government or the authorities will. Uh, find that uh, perhaps it would have been better to engage uh, a writer like uh, RPK uh, uh, in other ways, in other ways rather than taking him, dragging him to court. Because uh, how, if this is a, if this is a, a, a signal or a sign, are we saying that the government or the authorities will drag every blogger, every writer? to court every time uh, something is deemed uh, seditious. I mean, there is a, a double standard. Well, these are the questions asked by Petra. When in the case of um, the lady who was supposed to be uh, sleep naked and do the ketuk tampi, uh, that one, uh, 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 our government sent a minister to apologize to the Chinese government. Here in Malaysia, in this case, uh, that time it's not even a Chinese national, it was a Malaysian a woman. In this case, these are questions um, asked, and I met the father of Atantuya, the deceased, and he asked, why are the two letters given by ministers or from Mongolia to our min prime minister and foreign minister not answered? Mm -hmm. So I think this is uh, uh, the case that is supposed to be the, the questions, the issues raised, rather than this taking um, a blogger. To see Raja Petra, better yes. to move him. Okay, okay, yeah. I have to leave. Okay. Me. Raja Petra will not, he will not post a uh, bail today. Uh, as far as we are concerned, uh, Raja Pentara maintains his innocence. Yeah, he says that uh, the charges to begin with are completely baseless, uh, doesn't understand why he has to go through this. Uh, we will make an appeal to the Rakyat uh, to contribute uh, to a fund uh, which is, uh, uh, is to be established for the purpose of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of raising bail on behalf of uh, Raja Petra. Now we will inform the public uh, uh, soon as to the details of that fund and we hope that everybody will contribute perhaps just a little bit uh, so that Raja Petra could actually be released on bail as soon as possible. Uh, but as, insofar as the proceedings are concerned today, Raja Petra will be brought back to uh, Sungai Bulo and he will be kept there until uh, what you call enough funds are, are collected for the purposes of his bail. I, uh, at the moment I'm quite uh, stunned at what he's done also, <laughs> not wanting bail. Uh, so let me see him tomorrow, and uh, we'll take it from there. Is it the first time that he's been held? Oh yes, and first time being charged too. Are you... I don't think everybody is prepared <laughs> for this. 
you know, my kids, uh, I'll just, I just call them and told them about it. So uh, we'll have, we'll go back and have a family gathering and sit up and discuss this matter, you know. He writes every day, so I know he writes, but sometimes I don't know what he writes, so but he writes every day, sometimes two, three articles a day. I'm not angry, I'm very disappointed, you know. Uh, the way things are done in a hurry, you know. They send us to this court and then they push, push us to the other court. They send us to this police station and they, they say, come tomorrow, they came to the house, take the computer, you know, takes him to the, the, the police station, go there, and then they say, come tomorrow, then they say, come today. And this is what's happened today, even in uh, going to court. We went there at 8.30, waited until about almost 11, and they said, it's not there, come to PJ Station, and it's a circus. It doesn't look as though it's, it's they're serious or, you know, it's just it's the trump up charges. As though it, everything is done in a hurry, don't you think so? You know? Thank you very much for all your support. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. 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 Thank